I'll be right back again. Gonna use the restroom. What's up with Mason's name? Oh, yeah, it was tagged up EG. Yeah, I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if that's like... I don't know if this is like an alt account of his or something or if it's just like complete troll. I don't think it's... There, right? <laughs> like, there's nothing that I missed, right? <sighs> Anyways, what do we got this game? So Smash is playing Wind Ranger mid. Good old Wind Ranger. I, th I feel like Smash plays a lot of Wind Ranger. Got CC and C here on the Ember Spirit. I hear that he plays a lot. Oh, fogged Pudge. F Dog running in. He's got that rot ready to go. And Le Hook is charging on a Wind Ranger, though. Does he have Wind Ryan? Yes, he does. He's going to use it right here. But beautiful blocks and Spirit Breaker. The rot, though, going to keep them just far enough. And now, actually, the turn kill on a Spirit Breaker. That's going to be a first blood. However, F Dog goes down in turn to CC and C. The Shackle Shot connecting, but not nearly enough follow up damage. So, pretty chaotic middle lane right there. Oh, meanwhile, top lane. They get the kill on Darkseer, actually. Witch Doctor and Anti-Mage. How do they kill Darkseer? Wow. What if he just got mana burned to where he couldn't uh, search away? Or maybe a nice cask bounce? Did have Maledict level 1, but level 1 Maledict is really weak. Interesting. Radiance top tower is being I know Fox has been mentioning this. He's been playing a lot of... Uh, Roaming Pudge lately. <laughs> oh, fogged. He lands the hook on Omni Knight. Faceless running in. Wants to finish the job, but Omni Knight, the repel goes up, and he'll easily walk away. Pretty good against that rot ability. We go Fog now. He's in a dangerous spot. Going to eat through the trees. Faceless nearby to assist. No time dilation, though, but he's fine. Just walks on through. Spirit Breaker, a nice little charge. Only going to do so much. Very confident on that pudge there. Four minute rune, hopes the spawns top. It does not. It's a regen bottom. Wind Ranger just got his bottle as well. He should be able to get there first though. Yeah, he's gonna spam out the middle and then run down there. Although okay, then no, that's his teammate. <coughs> SVG, gonna rotate over. See that? Spirit Breaker's coming over as well, but Wind Ranger. Yeah, he's gonna just before. At least harass him a little bit. Says, son of a bitch. That was my rune. Oh, Dark's here. Getting pretty low right there once again. Charge again, middle lane. And he is Whoa. not keeping up, uh, or he is keeping up the pressure. Not letting him go free. Regeneration. Trans scouting out the Omni Knight. Attempting to do some polling here. Gonna screw that up a bit. Oh, he barely got the range creep. Top lane Darkseer. That's level two Iron Shell now, so that'll help a little bit. Spirit Breaker is rotating over though. Right now he doesn't have any clue that he's here. But he's being very safe about it. It's on a couple of iron shells, but they're going in. Spirit Breaker charge. He just used Surge as well. Yeah, that was a pretty greedy surge on his part. Here comes a TP from Fog, though. So Darkseer is definitely dead. Maybe get the turn kill, at least on a Witch Doctor, and that he will. So Maledict ticks. We'll finish off the job on a Fog. Now Spirit Breaker's in a bad spot. This could be a two for one in favor of the Radiant side. 
A Spirit Breaker can somehow make his way out of here. He has a charge. Just a matter of using it, and there he will. He gets away. He gets the safety, so only ends in the one for one. Rotating around middle lane, Witch Doctor. Trying to make use of his death. We'll put a pretty aggressive ward there. As Haystrom going to be bottled up by CCNC. And he might go bottom with it. Omni Knight, he's being charged on. So Ember Spirit, he's joining the party. Does he have level 6? He does. Fire Remnants ready to go. Omni Knight keeping his distance. Now Faceless Void. As soon as he time walks, he's in trouble. He knows this. You have to be patient with it, but this is going to be a tough case. He has to go in the right direction. Goes back with the kill on Omni Knight. Cannot get it, though. He says, screw it. Might as well take him with me. That's not going to happen. Great pursuit right there from Ember Spirit. Has that Haystrom running him down. Gets the kill. SVG, he'll stay near the trees. Survive for now. Fawn is going to hook on in. Don't really know what the plan is, though. <laughs> they had a shrine there especially, so. That was kind of a greedy uh, greedy attempt there. Wind Ranger will push out the middle lane, knowing that Ember Spirit's bottom. Get a little bit of farm there. Trying to keep Wind Ranger nearby, but Smash will not fall for that. Denied. Who's playing the Omni? <coughs> it's Justin, that's right. Doesn't Justin normally play carry? Healing Guess he wasn't going to take carry away from Mason this game. Oh, middle lane, Wind Ranger. Spirit Breaker ready to charge, but again, the wind run is ready as well. Not the easiest gank target. Uh, yeah, Starman J. Any games have been up. Uh, this is the second one now we're casting, actually. It's 4:15 Eastern here, 4:15 p.m. So it's it's you know it's the afternoon time frame. Makes sense. It's like players have just woken up, you know, in uh, in NA. <laughs> 4 p.m. wake-up time. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Appreciate it. See them coming through. Rune of regeneration. And all and any support is fucking awesome. Especially donations. That's really uh. awesome. But all and any support is really awesome. Never refuse gold. Maybe I should make it a thing. I'll chug, uh, I'll chug my Lacroix whenever I get a you know a certain amount of donations. I'll go Grand Grand style, just not as uh, <laughs> not as sugary. Oh, middle lane. That's a Chronosphere. Wind Ranger living a little bit longer because of that wind run, but not enough. Spear Breaker in a bad spot. He turned his right into the ass of Pudge. Gets a bash proc on top of that. But, oh, that's going to be a nice cast. Bounce, however, it bounces over to the Ancients. That could have been a lot worse. They not only survive, but they do get the kill on a Spear Breaker in the end. Man, that cask bounce. If it doesn't go to the Ancients, if it stays in between the two, then <laughs> I think he gets away right there. Chasing down the Omni here, forcing out a Guardian Angel, but no chance for him really. And now that's going to be on cooldown. Yeah, that was a. That was really no chance he's living there, right? Unless he somehow dodged that power shot. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Radiant top tower is under. Anti Mage, though, Mason is having a very good game. Decent start, I should say. Faceless. Oof. He somehow Dyer's avoids the Searing Chains. And keeping his distance here, so Spirit Breaker decides it's best to turn around. Although CCNC, attack. he's not done just yet. He wants to go back in. These Searing Chains will connect. It's going to be enough for the initial kill. He has a time walk. Can't get it off in time, though. We got bashed right as he was about to. 
He waited just a little bit too long. However, the turn kill now chance. Nice shackle shot on both. That ultimate activator from Wind Ranger doing plenty of damage with the focus fire. And there's the dismember to help finish the job on to the Spear Breaker. That cask. Gonna keep fogged in place, but Witch Doctor getting there a little bit too late. Nice shackle shot. By the Wind Ranger there. just sitting on top of the Somni Knight. <coughs> I mean, Kronos is ready to go. Don't think that they have enough damage between them, though. Yeah, they need, like, the Windrunner or Genta come down here. Uh, Smash does not currently play. I mean, I guess he does play for, isn't it Elite Wolves, I want to say? But he's unfortunately one of those players that is banned from, uh, Valve associated events at least. Uh, Ping it out. They, they, they know. Th I, yeah, they definitely know which doctor's here. That's right. I got the word here, so. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like this is going to work. Uh, Eddie is king. I'm not. I'm not sure, honestly. I, I I think it does because technically those are valve associated. So, in fact, yeah, it would because he couldn't actually earn points, which means that he would be ineligible to play in the events. All right, that chronosphere, uh, that cask, though, man, that was awkward. And now here comes Spirit Breaker. There's the Guardian Angel. So they're not only going to live, but maybe turn some kills over. There here comes Wind Ranger. Smash is here in a clutch time once again. Omni gets picked off by the power shot. They all get rooted in place, however, by the Searing Chains, but the counter root of Treant secures the kill on a Spirit Breaker. Ember Spirit trying to be flashy or find somebody. He has the Fire Remnant to go to. Going to sit on top of the Wind Ranger. But a quick win run away. And now SVG is in a bad spot. Yeah, I kind of forced him to help. And that was just kind of an awkward play for the Treant. Get fogged, uh, steal the kill. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dark's here, top lane. He does have his wall. He has this vacuum wall combo, so. Wouldn't be surprised if he pours to the bottom lane if something happens down here. Fog just being very patient. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. Wind Ranger has the Maelstrom just about finished to blink queued up. Actually, he has the Maelstrom finished, just a matter of delivering the pattern. Is this a kill? And it's in tower range. It's not enough, though. Yeah, just not enough damage. Good attempt by Fog. Does he still get this kill? Uh oh, here comes Ember Spirit now. He misses the hook. Nice jukes from Justin. And now Fog, guess what? He's going to deny himself, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, he didn't deny himself. Oh, the burn was too much. Not one TP. Yeah, I kind of agree. That was a long fight right there, and if one TP would have easily secured that kill. I, uh, yeah. I, I'm with Fog on that one for sure. <laughs> Hell, he almost got the solo kill. I mean, that was a hell of an attempt by himself. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is being attacked. Well, yeah, that kind of goes back to Dark Darkseer. You know, he got his wall already. He got the early vacuum. Now he's going to pour bottom lane. Somebody else is coming. Don't know if they can really make a play here, though. They maybe could deny the tower. Chronosphere coming out. All right. The vacuum wall after. Vacuum. Wall. Wall. Okay, who needs the wall? They get the Kona anti-mage, that's what matters. Omni Knight, he's on the run. This is out of mana now. Ember Spirit, gonna sit there. With that flame guard, it's wearing off though. Taking a lot of damage with the focus fire. He barely gets away with the fire remnant though. And he will survive, he roots off the train and he's gonna live, no, the power shot snipes him out. What a snipe there, the op style coming out from Smash. 
And now SVG on Tree Protector trying to survive. He will do just that, only for a little bit longer, though. Gets charged in by Spearbreaker. Over the Bash Brocks happening on a Witch Dog in the back lines. Get him taken out. Now the power shot on through. Clears some trees. Does not connect on a Spearbreaker, though. But Spearbreaker, he is the sole survivor on his team, at least in this area. And they eventually will find the Shackle shot up and smash another kill for him. So Smash playing this Wind Ranger very well. Yeah, that power shot, man. Sniping out CCNC, who probably thought he had the actual getaway. I thought he did. Not for long, though. Just in range, so well played there. Yeah, Darkseer not using the wall. He actually used a, another ion shell instead of throwing yeah. the wall out. I mean, obviously, you, they got the important kills. They pretty much killed everyone early, so it worked out in the end. Honestly, what he could have done, he could have just spawned the wall on top of the Chronosphere on the heroes and then um, vacuumed right as that wore off, too. But As we saw in hindsight, it wasn't even necessary. A level 4 Iron Shell is a lot of damage, so figured they would have got more value out of that. Although an Illusion Anti-Mage is nice to have. What? Oh, that was a uh, kill on Mason. I'm guessing a hook into a dismember there. Bottom lane. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. Oh, get out before. Uh, Mason he caught his earlier game on anti-mage as well. He has also struggled that game. Attacked. This game is, I want to say it's going a little bit better, but yeah, the fact that he's behind the Wind Ranger in the farm and he's had the battle fury for a little bit here, not not the best news. Radiant's bottom tower has been destroyed. As there goes that bottom tower Dyer's indeed. Tower is under siege. Huh, CCNC going Dyer's the essentially the first tower. item Yul's here. Obviously when bots first even, but <sighs> well, he likes the Yul's idea. Never refuse gold. He's not a better movement, mana regen, and then of course the effect, the purge. Radiant's bottom tower is being attacked. Trent, overgrowth is ready. We're gonna be charging up to the top lane. They see faceless void up here. <coughs> Who has yes. that mask of madness as somebody's found over here? That's the witch doctor. They catch MTP in from Omni was a little bit too late, though. The cask is still causing an <laughs> uh, issue here. Focus fire. Guardian Angel going to have to be forced as a result. And Omni Knight will walk away. Amber Spirit TPing in as well. Rin Ranger has that blink dagger showing it off there. Looking to run. Time dilation catching the Omni Knight. And that should be an easy kill on him in the end. Spearbreaker charges in, but... Oh, beautiful shackle shot onto the creep, onto Spearbreaker. Damn, he's impressive. It really sucks, you know, just watching play like this. Knowing that this player's banned from competitive Dota 2. And that that's a whole other subject. And maybe one of these days I'll talk about it on my podcast more with, with some others. But I, there is a part of me that would like to see that ban lifted. But then there's the other part of me that's like, maybe not. Because it is fucked up. That's, that's like a, such a shitty thing to do. To, uh, to throw matches for the sake of making money. It's it's a very touchy subject. Subject. But nonetheless, it's impressive to watch. The skilled play that is of Smash's Wind Ranger. So the Yules is finished on Ember. Now he's going to blink on top of that. So he's really heavy on this mobility. No Veil, no Radiance, no Maelstrom. None of these damage-oriented items. Instead, just all about the mobility here. Relying on a skill set to take care of that. If you're going to be relying, this kind of build does seem like you have like a, like a sniper in the back lines assisting plenty of damage, which he really doesn't, so. That's where I'd be a little curious on the decision-making on uh, CCNC's item build here. You know, Anti-Mage is just going to be farming a lot here, and he's 
The melee hero that sure he can assist damage later on in the game, but not having much of an assistance earlier part. Middle lane. Mind control, jeez. I called him mind control. <laughs> Smash, as to say. That's easy kill. Easy kill on the spirit breaker. And he's going to the axe as well, so that focus fire. What exactly does it, it makes a cooldown 15 seconds? And the damage reduction is down to only, it's 0% level 3. Wow. Yeah, Axe is like necessary on this hero, it feels like. <coughs> Dark Seer, Guardian Greaves, has been finished. He has been doing a lot of farming. As Fogged was uh, getting at earlier. Fogged, by the way, went uh, hooded to fines here. You doubled down and gained 10 MMR. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that's brutal. We, I guess you were queued up with a the team then. Time dilation. They catch Spear Breaker. Nice. You become past Fogged going for the kill secured. Radiance Middle Tower is being attacked. Clean Iron and Q. Oh, nice. You queue up with Francis. What MMR are you at, Mike Max? I didn't know you're you're a high MMR player. Shit. Kind of a big deal, aren't you? Trickster's rule of illusion. Uh oh. <laughs> That's another kill. Another shackle shot and another kill. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer has fortified its structures. Radiant has fortified its structures. Radiant's bottom tower is under siege. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I just turned my monitor on my left side to face more towards me rather than just have it straight. And oh my god, it feels so much better. Anyways, what do we got here? That's a kill on Omni Knight. He could not. Did he? Oh, he actually did Guardian Angel, but he died right after. Charge in. They catch Faceless Void. He has a time locked over. Ready to go. Can he get it off in time? Yes, he can. He heals on the Mana Void. Not enough damage. Spear Breaker goes down. Now Anti Mage. He's rooted on up by SVG right here. And he goes down. He's no buyback. Down goes Witch Doctor. Double kill for the f dog there on Pudge, CCNC, just slide of fists and then gets the hell on out of there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And that's a kill middle lane. And Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Let's rotate to Roshan. The skin, by the way, of Pudge. Like golden arm. Never refuse school. Invisibility. No. I'll take that. Almost has the axe finished on Wind Ranger. Oh, that should be an easy kill. <laughs> and a shackle shot opening and just just having to sit there while it's almost like a chronosphere of sorts. So you just have to sit there stunned while he just right clicks into you. Radiant's top tower is under siege. What surge is this? Well, Anti-Mage almost has a uh, 
Mint stall at least finished. Wait, why did they get another perseverance? Huh. Is he gonna be going like a Lincoln's? Gaia's top tower is under siege. Radiant's bottom tower is being attacked. Gaia's top tower spamming the pings. Radiant's bottom tower Pudge coming over. They're going to jump Pudge first, though. Ultimate. Yeah, he is going to overgrowth, but not really any support coming in. So I don't think that uh, he's getting out of that one. And now Trian's actually in a little bit of trouble. However, it's a nice distraction because in the meantime, they're pushing the top tower. And they're going to put a little bit of pressure into the base. They get Woodstock to the fort back. I swear, Smash has killed Spirit Breaker like 10 times this game. He has 11 kills. I'm pretty sure 10 of them have been on Spirit Breaker. Antimage. It's not going to be a kill, but a lot of damage. He does have his eggs. Win run. Chained in searing heat. Win run's right here. Back to his teammate. The Chronosphere catches Omni Knight. Like a smash, he blinks around it. To survive. They don't really want to fight right now. Maybe they do because Amber Spear gets bashed on up and he's vacuumed up as well. He gets taken out. Spirit Breaker thinks about charging in, but there's another shackle shot. It's uh, him in the tree and easy kill on him. And they also get Omni Knight with the hook back. Nice coordination. Your crybabies out. Hook. Looks like the Radiant team is winning this one. Illusion. Radiant's top tower is under siege. I just think Darks are going to Glimmer Cave. As far as follow up goes. Radiant's top tower is being attacked. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tower has been destroyed. Got you, Mike Max. Okay. Lovely. All right, so Lincoln's has been finished on the ATMH, so yeah, he does decide to go that. Why is he going to Lincoln's? I guess it stops focus fire. Stops focus fire and dismember. Those are the two big ones. Yeah, it does seem pretty good this game. Radiance bottom tower is being attacked. Yeah, the Wind Ranger ultimate, yeah. Especially with since he has the Ags, how powerful it is. <coughs> and there really isn't much else to take it off. We're kind of looking at it. And they do have Leech C. Has to get pretty close for that though. I guess an Ion Shell could take it off. That's really it though. Oop, oh, Amber Spirit, you're dead. And he's dead for a minute. I do not see Spirit Breaker unless Tree scouts him out. Oh, <laughs> stops the Dark Seer port. He was going to the top lane to stop that. Now Spirit Breaker's going to die because of this, though. I don't really think that's worth it because even Wind Ranger's up here, anyways. Shackle? Oh, no, there's that. Uh, there's the Lincoln. So, yeah, Shackle's another thing that, of course, it will. Stop as well. 
Yeah, as you're saying right there. Dyer's middle tower is under siege. Hook. Oh. Swing gonna miss. Top tower is under siege. Now they do not have Wind Ranger with them, so they are losing a lot of damage right now. Middle Chronosphere? No, he's not gonna cast it. Attack. Thought about it, but decided better. Did uh, MSS there. Top Here comes Smash running back in though. Yeah, I realized he had a sentry there because he was seen by the creep wave. Be fearless. Good job paying attention. Lincoln's being worked on a Wind Ranger too now. So gonna have one himself to stop things like the like charge, cask, mana void, nether strike. A decent item on both sides of this game. In fact, Faceless Void actually already has one, okay. Didn't even realize that. Now he's working on a Shadow Blade into a Silver Edge. Ember Spirit's been slowly farming. He's Ooh. had a struggle at CCNC. He's 5, 4, and 3 this game. And that's, that's the thing with his items, too. It's unfortunately not the best at uh, flash farming. I mean, he has the Maelstrom now, so it's getting better, but that was essentially his fourth item. He went bots, Yules, Blink, and now he has the Maelstrom. So he's fourth right now on the uh, net worth. Put up on a Witch Doctor to open. The dust comes out. Faces Void jumped in. Bernal's mana, though, and the mana void to finish the job. Great reaction from the dire side. He could not Chronosphere, but here comes Smash. He's going to be able to take out one Witch Doctor. They do catch Darkseer, though. The wall was put down. You see the illusions are up, but going to be cleared out. Wind Ranger, he's yields on up in the air. It's just him and the Pudge now. Pudge, just memory not going to work. Has that Lincolns, so he'll be fine. Pudge running after the Ember now. Omni Knight is now here as well, so Pudge overstepping his boundary. Smash, yeah, he probably has to get the hell out of here. He just power shots through, and Fog just going to go the other direction, try to deny himself here. Four staff. Uh, rot, 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 rot. Stay alive. Feels on up. And they burst him down. All right. Smash, get out. Yeah, he's good. Wants the bounty. He gets it. That's greed, man. That is greed at its Radiant's finest right there. So he does have, he went the invisibility tower. I was wondering why he is actually, I thought he had a shadow blade for a second. I, I forgot they, they put in that talent. Then I remember talking about that, how it's like a, it's like a mini Sakuchi of sorts. So he gets that over the power shot damage. Yeah, no, that's, you definitely want that over the power shot damage. Doesn't even increase the power shot by that much. Yeah, they added that a while back. I want to say that was at least like three or four months ago. But again, no one ever like plays Wind Ranger, so it's never it was never really talked about that much. And this is considered one of the lower tier heroes, in like competitive Dota at least. But yeah, Smash is playing it very well. It's fun to watch him play it. That's a root up. Is it enough damage? Of course it is. Holy shnikes. More than enough damage. Regeneration. God, dropping Rosha. So she's picked up on Wind Ranger, and MSS gets the Aegis here. Radiance bottom tower is under siege. Radiant has yeah, I think, uh, Spaceman, I think you're right, yeah. That was part of the, the respawn talent changes, Radiant's yeah. Bottom tower is being yeah, when we happen to see her very little in competitive, it usually is as a support, and I, I agree. It's uh, like Support Windranger is so underwhelming. Oh, Chronosphere, catch Omni. He does not have a buyback. 
My soul is ready to be seen. Upon this life. Also catch Witch Doctor. It looks like there's some rat dota going on down here. Yeah, Antimage just split pushing Mason to get the one tower kill. No vacuum for Dark Zero. Take off the Lincoln still. Root on up. Overgrowth going to be activated. Mana Boy not enough to go for the Dark Zero. Now here comes that focus fire. Look at the dropping on Antimage. Is it enough damage though? It doesn't seem like it. Wind Run 4 though. Blinks for it as well. Another focus fire in six more seconds. Didn't even need it. <laughs> it actually was still active, so easy kill in the end. Onto the AM. Meanwhile, back over here, Faceless and Pudge are still getting more kills. They just clean them all up, and that should actually do it now in favor of the Radiant side. <laughs> no problem, Alcaphone. Like the name. It's a disaster! Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under siege. Dyer's middle tower has been destroyed. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. No sorceries avail. Dyer's top tower All is right. under attack. Dyer's Force middle tower has fallen. Of us all. It is always fun seeing heroes that you don't get to see often do very well, especially. That's what's kind of cool about these pub games. We're likely to get that. Yeah, Dazran, there's a lot. Is this actually Charlie? Ooh, my control. He's a TI champion. Let me add him to my friends. <laughs> See if he accepts. Um. When I think about the heroes, I said earlier, I mean, I, I don't know what to think because we don't really know anything on them. I, I assume it's going to be a support hero as well as a melee agility ganker. Just from the looks of them, but. It's, uh, I want to wait to see actual skill sets and stuff before I make judgments. <laughs> 